Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. <laughs> Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Mob Enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch, noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Hmm. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Thank you again, Peter. Don't know what I'd do without you. I only wish you'd told me sooner, Doc. I didn't want to burden you. And if I'm honest... Telling you made my condition that much more real. I was afraid. My condition is worsening, but I choose to view it as a challenge. Extra incentive to push forward. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. Owls may have seen lights flickering out at the wrapped Supermax prison last night. Sadly, 
it was not because one of their inmates got the chip. No. Apparently, someone there hit on an idea I actually think has merit, which is making that recidivist criminal Electro pay for his room and board by powering the prison himself, saving taxpayers money. Not surprisingly, though, it turns out he hates actual work as much as he loves robbing and murdering. So they had to go back to the city's grid, which I'd imagine is why I still can't run my microwave and toaster at the same time without blowing a fuse. What are you doing here? Oh, we got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, punk. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Uh, okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, oh like that time you fought Ryan on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can do it. <clears throat> oh, sh... S sorry No, no. No. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know... Anytime. I just punch Spider-Man. Shelter should be just ahead. So, uh, can you clean your Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider-Man. What? Crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would have bought it off you, and then we'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Uh, cool. Later. Come on. What's up today? Uh, Farmer's market. I can cut through there. I'm not the guy in charge. Right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Right. Sorry. I can't let you pass. Come on, no pictures. Just keep moving. Well, when you say it like that, how would you say it? There are opportunities to be had. Like half off at Decadent Spa. Half off these books over here. Nice to know that supplies over here. You can have to Uh-oh. Everyone have their IDs out and ready for inspection.
kidding me? It's gonna take forever. That drone wasn't watching. I could jump the fence. Do you know anyone by the name of Martin Lee? Wow, that was too easy. I can't believe Sable systems are unsecured. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Okay, hacking app. Don't fail me now. Okay. Okay, time to move. the gate on the left or over the scaffolding to the right. You're lying. We have footage. Oh, man. I just gotta go home. I have the authority okay. to arrest and detain. Okay. Stay calm. I gotta distract him. Maybe I should just... Okay, my faithful listeners. I've been getting a lot of calls about this Sable International outfit that's assisting police with the search for suspects in the city hall mob. Whoa! I've got Ken on my... <gasps> Check it out. Gun movement, stand by. Those things have mounted guns? Can't let them spot me. Who's there? Whoa! I 
think we got company. Watch your sixes, men. Stand by, Control. I heard something. Come on. Ignore me. Whoa! <gasps> Over there. <clears throat> okay, I'm in the clear. Phew. That was intense. Oh, hey, mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the thief shelter? Okay. Uh, yeah, almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. But this is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. We'll get through this. Okay? I gotta go. I'll call you on my way home. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. I'm a piece of junk. <clears throat> oh, hell. Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Eh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Cut the time. Get it. Go! Or, could be a loose coax cable. <sighs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, mister? Smarty pants. Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerged that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. His fellow officers 
Hey, Ernie. I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. Let's see if Ant-Man needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May. I gotta take off, but, uh... Brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? That would be extremely helpful. Thank you. Peter, be careful out there. Miles told me the Sable patrols are being very strict. Hey, is it okay if I get here late on Thursdays? That's when the robotics club meets. Absolutely. Your education comes first. May told me about your parents and Uncle Ben. Sorry I snapped at you at the funeral. All good, Miles. Hey, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. So I looked right at the Sandman and said, This is a shelter. There's nothing to steal. Get out. And he did. What? That is awesome! <laughs> You've got some pretty cool stories, Mrs. P. Peter, Miles says he can connect all the feast shelters on one network. Dude, May said you turned down a job at Oscorp to work at a startup. Much respect. So how's it going with your daughter, Eileen? Slow. I made mistakes raising her. Hard to get past. If you're talking, there's hope. Don't give up. Now that's a wise man right there. Hey, Pete. Your aunt's really stepped up. Oh, gotta get an ID so Sable stops hassling me. Way to have the kids back. Miles has had it rough. Sometimes it means you don't want anyone's help. You still need it. Speaking from experience? Thanks to your aunt, I got a job at the Coffee Bean. Turns out, if I remember not to curse, I'm pretty good with people. I could have told you that. Way to go, Gloria. What about my dog? Your aunt's a saint, Pete. Bonafide saint. Hey, Yuri. I'm heading to the Bowery to make sure Michaels gets to his new safe house. You know, safely. I wouldn't do that. Silver Sable made it clear you are not welcome. Yeah, well, what's she gonna do? Shoot me? Honestly, 50-50 chance. Ah, fine. I'll be in the neighborhood, but not too close. Just in case. Be straight. 
straight with me. If this devil's breath gets loose in the city, what's our worst case scenario? Ah, uh, you know, global pandemic, end of the world, that kind of thing. Why did I even ask?